एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल माय नेम इज़ मंदीप एंड इन टुडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट के फोल्ड क्रॉस वैलिडेशन टेक्निक सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग विद के फ्रॉस के फोल्ड क्रॉस वैलिडेशन टेक्निक आई वुड लाइक टू गिव अ बैकग्राउंड अबाउट दिस टेक्निक वेयर वी अप्लाई सो अज्यूम दैट वी हैव टोटल डेटा ऑफ लेट से हंड्रेड आइटम एंड what we do in machine learning we basically divide our data into two parts um, and uh, which is train and the test so we divide our data into train and test uh, so assume that this is 70% in one case and this is 30% and we then we train we train our model over this training data and then we give this test data um, to check the accuracy of model and then we calculate it then we uh, let's say we get accuracy of 90% the same way assume that uh, there is another scenario whereas in uh, i have uh, the same data set and this is my let's say train data set and this is my assume that this is my test data set and let's say it is 20% and this is let's say this is 80% this is 20% so this is uh, 20% so and i give the same to my uh, same to my model and i train over this this training data and then i give my uh, test data to it and assume that i get an accuracy of 80% and um, in this scenario we are assuming that model is same so assume that we are using logistic regression model for some some of the problem so how it can be possible that we are using same model and uh, train training over the same data and but still we are getting uh, different accuracy so this situation arises when um, this means that uh, our model accuracy our model accuracy is dependent on the uh, size of the test data so here we have 30% and here we have uh, 20% so this means that our accuracy of mo mo accuracy of our model is dependent on the our test data so that means that this is not a very ideal scenario and uh, so uh, what should we do in this uh, two handle such situation uh, one option could be like we have uh, we give all the 100% data to our model during training so that means let's say i have this size of my data and i give this whole data during the training to my model and then i keep test from the same data set and then i get the accuracy so what will happen in this in, in this type of scenario we will get accuracy of 100% because we are training our model on to the same data set and we are testing with the same uh, data set so what will this is very similar to a situation that we are giving a question paper to any student per one day uh, before the exam so that what will happen in that case in that case that student will train uh, himself or herself over that particular question paper and in the next day he will deliver and he will get a accuracy of 100% this is not a very ideal scenario and we cannot do this uh, because uh, test in real world this doesn't works so what should we do in in such scenarios for uh, such things we have k fold cross validation whereas in our um, accuracy of our model is uh, affected by uh, the size of the test data uh, that we are choosing 
so to tackle this what we do uh, in k fold cross validation so what we do we divide our data into k folds so k folds assume that uh, we have a data of we let's say 100 items so i if i take k is equal to 5 that means i am going to divide my data into five folds so one fold my one fold two fold three fold four fold and five fold and assume that there are 100 items in my total data so uh, what i will do i will divide my data into five folds and what i will do then uh, i will uh, what i will do then i will keep this first subset of data for testing purpose and i will keep the these four parts for the training purpose and then i will give it to my model train over it and then i will give this test data to my model for testing purpose and i will get accuracy and uh, then note it down uh, let's say this is accuracy one the in after that what we will do we will shift our uh, test uh, data so what we will do we will uh, kind of do in this way so we divide our data into k folds and what will what we will do we will so now this is my train data and this is my test data i will make this part this subset as my test data and uh, rest all will be my train data so this is my uh, this is my this one is my iteration one this is my ITR this is my ITR1 this is my ITR2 this in second iteration what I am doing I am uh, keeping this this subset as my testing data I will give the same to my model this training data basically this one and these three I will give to my model and I will get some uh, after training then I will give this data this test data and I will get accuracy let's say this time I get AC2 accuracy 2 in third iteration what I will do in third iteration I am going to do the same thing uh, I will move my test data I will make this as a train data and will make this as my test data and the same then I will in ITR3 I will get accuracy 3 and the same way I will at each iteration I will get IAC4 and AC5 here we have 5 so that uh, what we will do after that I will uh, take an average of all these five accuracies so that way what is the benefit of this uh, technique is that uh, uh, my 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 model has seen all all type of data during the training and uh, during testing uh, it has kind of get each time a different flavor the unseen data and this way uh, this way I'm going to control uh, the situation whereas in my model performance is impacted by the test size so this is what we do in k-fold cross validation technique that's all for today thank you